In this video, I'm going to show you how to get external Home Assistant access using DuckDNS. Make sure you stick around, and if you like what you see, hit subscribe below and keep an eye out for more videos. Hi, I'm Will from Will Surridge Tech. And today we're going to be using DuckDNS to provide you with external Home Assistant access from anywhere in the world. If you haven't already, check out the rest of this series, Home Assistant Back to Basics. So let's get going. Before we get started, we need to talk through a bit of technical jargon. But before we do that, I need to warn you about the security issues that may arise by continuing this process. As it stands, your new Home Assistant setup is fully secure. It is locked inside your home network. The only way that anyone can touch your Home Assistant is from within your network, if they're signed into your Wi-Fi, for example, or plugged directly into your router, which I don't think would happen without you noticing. So with that in mind, by opening this up for external access, it does mean there is possibility of anyone else being able to access it. You're also going to have to open some ports on your router. That is effectively a backdoor into your network. Obviously, it is reasonably secure. I do this and I'm not adverse to it. But if you are very security conscious and worried about this sort of thing, then I would recommend not engaging in external access. For me, the benefits of being able to control it from you know, anywhere in the world does outweigh the slight risk. If you are going to go ahead, I'd highly recommend making sure you have a secure password for your Home Assistant and have multi-factor authentication enabled. Now the technical jargon. You may have heard me talk about before the internal and external IP addresses. These are different things. Your internal IP address is the one that's inside your home network. It probably looks something like 192.168.0. something or potentially dot one dot something. Now this is inside your network. If you're in that network, then you can find other devices in their network using the internal IP address. But we also have what's called an external IP address. This is an IP address provided to you by your ISP, your internet service provider. This helps anything else on the network find your network. So if you were going after a website, for example, it needs to know where to send the data back and it sends it to your external IP address. Your router will then spit that information off to the specific client or device that search for it. Your external IP address set given to you by your ISP often changes. It helps them kind of keep on top of things and allow for flexibility, which does cause a problem because we want to be able to ping things to our internal IP address. But if it keeps changing, we don't know what that is. And that's where DuckDNS comes in. DuckDNS gives you a friendly domain name that you can then point towards your home IP address. And it will track your home IP address, so it's always pointing towards your home network. To get started, we need to head to duckdns.org, create an account, and then add a new subdomain. This could be something like myhome.duckdns.org, although that's probably been taken already. From here, we need to make sure it's found our IP address and we're going to want to copy the token. We can then head over to Home Assistant, go to the add-on store, find DuckDNS and install it. Once it's installed, we head over to the configure and we want to paste the token in here. We also want to paste the new domain name that we've just created in here too. This will talk to the DuckDNS servers and make sure it's always finding the right IP address for you. We can then press save, and then we're going to need something called Let's Encrypt. This is another add-on in the add-on store, and this means that you can access your Home Assistant via HTTPS, as opposed to just HTTP. The S stands for secure, so by using HTTPS, you're accessing it securely. I would recommend, I would highly recommend, making sure you use HTTPS, as it just provides a bit more protection of your home network and your Home Assistant instance. Once we've installed the add-on, we need to configure it. In here, we just need to add our email address and the domain name. 
we can then hit save, head back over to the DuckDNS add-on and make accept terms true for Let's Encrypt. And then we can start the DuckDNS add-on. We're then going to need to head over to our router or the router user interface. This will be different for all routers. I'm using Sky, but if you're using a different router, then this process will be slightly different. For me, I need to go into the services under the firewall and I need to create a new service. This is going to point port 8123 to port 8123. That means from outside of my network, if I type in something colon port 8123, it's going to point to port 8123 when it's inside my network. That one is for Home Assistant. We then need another one for Let's Encrypt, and that's port 80 to port 80. I then need to go into a separate part of the settings under the firewall to make use of these services. I create a new firewall path, and in here I'm going to use my Home Assistant's IP address and the service of Home Assistant. So that is forwarding 8123 as the port. I'm then going to need to create another one using my Home Assistant IP address, but this time using the service of Let's Encrypt. That's port 80. You may need to restart your router at this point for these services to take effect. We can then head back over to the Let's Encrypt add-on and start the add-on. We should get a lovely window telling us we've got a certificate and it's all successful. Once that's happened, we can head over to the DuckDNS add-on and start that. Again, we should get a lovely window saying it's all successful. So now we've got the add-ons working, we need to tell Home Assistant what we've just done. To do that, we're going to head over to our configuration settings and under general, and then we're going to type in our new external and internal IP addresses. From here, we can then hit save, and then we need to make some changes to our configuration file. We head over to our configuration file in the file editor, and we type HTTP. Under here, we need to give a path for the SSL certificate and the SSL key. These will be the same path that I've written here. After that, we're going to want to create IP ban enable. This means that if you log in or try to log in a number of times in the same IP address and keep getting the password wrong, then it blocks that IP address. We want to set that number to five, or I do at least. You can set it to whatever number you want. I think five is a good number. So we set login attempts to five. We can then hit save, restart Home Assistant, and then try and access our device or our Home Assistant from outside our network. We're going to use HTTPS colon slash slash whatever your domain is colon 8123. And that should take you straight to your Home Assistant instance from anywhere in the world. So there we go. That is Home Assistant accessible via the internet using DuckDNS. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and click the bell icon to find out more about My Smart Tech and how you can build yourself the ultimate smart home.